guys. My key fob doesn't do anything at all to the car. And my wife's key fob also is the same thing. I don't suspect the batteries on these key fobs would have died the same exact time. Um, so I think it might be something else. I don't want to go to the dealership because the dealership will charge two to four hundred dollars just to replace the key because it will tell you the key is dead. So there's a way to check to see if um, something much cheaper is the problem. So um, let's get right to the car. So if this ever happens to you, you drive, you park the car, and the key fob doesn't work to lock or unlock anything, it doesn't lock the, unlock the trunk, it doesn't lock the car, what you're doing usually is using the key in the, in the door to lock your car and go. Um, chances are you think your key fob battery is dead and you go to the dealership, they will ask you for a lot of money to replace the key fob before anything else. Um, there is a way you could do troubleshoot your non-working key fob um, before going to the dealership and before spending lots of money. I'm going to show you what you need to do in this video. My problem is my key fob doesn't work, right? It doesn't do anything. It's like dead to the car. But my central locking and unlocking button works. And you see the doorknob, door door pins come up and down. So that's working. So that means um, one or two things, right? I could do one or two things, but what I wanna do primarily is go inside my glove box, remove my manual, and inside the glove box, behind the glove box is a fuse panel that's behind the back wall. I'm gonna show you guys how to open that back wall, get in there and check your fuses. Chances are the key fob isn't working <coughs> and whether your unlocking or locking button, central box button is not working, there's a couple of fuses in there that controls these things and those fuses blow all the time um, and they're likely to blow before the key fob battery dies or something else goes wrong with the car. So I'm going to show you guys how to go inside your glove box and check your fuses now. The door, central door locking button is controlled by the door locking actuators and if this wasn't working it'll be the door lock actuator fuses but I know my actuator fuses are fine because this is working. Now the key fob isn't working, so what I'm going to do is check the fuse that controls the diversity antenna, which basically um, um, links the remote key fob to your, you know, your door locks and your trunks and different things like that. Your trunk and different things like that. So let's um, take a closer look. Go right into the glove box. And Before we get into the fuse box, I'm going to show you guys where the diversity antenna is on the wagons. It's on the roof spoiler of the tailgate. On the sedan, it's inside the headliner, right above the third brake light, and underneath the shark fin location. So you'd want to start by opening up your glove box, and inside your glove box, the whole glove box is sort of a felt material, it feels nice. There's a back wall that's hard plastic. Now, on either side of the wall, there's two sort of uh, dials, you're going to spin them until you feel the, the wall release and it'll just fall forward and behind that wall is your fuse panel there and you pull the wall out and on the um, back wall or back um, doorway there's a little index card here that you're going to pull up so actually there's a tab there you can pull pull on that tab and it comes right up put that to the side now this is just a guide for your fuse panel so here you have a picture picture guide with numbers there and the door lock actuator fuses was actually this there so you see a Kia door and my, on my car it's 72 and 73 so had those been blown one of these fuses were blown my central door locking button would not be working so these are the fuses I would replace now once you know what the door actuator lock fuses are you can look at this little map here and this side is a map that sort of mirrors what's inside your fuse panel. So using this map, you'll find the fuses. So on my um, map here, fuse 72 and 73 is all the way in the lower right um, corner of the fuse panel. 
there. Now, my car, I think what is blown, and I'm not sure yet, but I will check, is my diversity antenna fuse. That's the antenna fuse that connects the car to the key fob. And that's fuse number 63 here. And some of these um, pictograms have uh, modules and different um, things in the car that have a bunch of different fuses connected to them. I put a screen cap in the video to show you guys um, how that card looks. A lot of cars, sometimes these may be missing if you're, you're the second owner or third owner of your car. But I'll, I'll you know, put a picture, gram up, a picture up for you guys to see. So my fuse, uh, my diversity antenna fuse is fuse 63. And it's going to be right over there in that... Um, and that part of the central of the fuse panel there. So let's go in and get a closer look of the fuse panel. Put my car back. And I'll put this back so you don't lose that. And I like this. This is BMW old school. Um, my All my BMWs used to have this. And I think, I'm not sure if they still have it in cars. But it's very helpful. It gives the um, driver kind of, um, I guess, added insurance if you break down. And you want to troubleshoot stuff and fix fuses. Now inside your fuse panel, it looks scary at first. But it's not really scary. It's a fun place. I love fuses because fuses is are the cheapest way to... Um, sort of fix things when things go wrong especially if they're blown so the door actuator fuses as i was mentioning the reason i mentioned a door actuator fuse is because that's something that breaks more than other fuses when it comes to the key fob not working uh or the door is not opening with the um, remote access key or the central locking button so that's those two fuses and one should say 20 amp and the other is 15 amp if they're both 15 amp um, and they're not blown, change those to 20 amps and see what happens. Sometimes that works from what I've researched online. So that's um, one thing you could do for the door actuator fuse. Now I know it's not those fuses. Those fuses will be working for me. And that's the color. You see the colors. One is blue, one is green. Now my 63 fuse is right over there um, in the central. So I'm going to grab my fuse puller. This is your fuse puller. It comes in the fuse box, which is really the fuse panel, which is really cool. And I'm going to go in and pull my fuses out. It's like sort of like tweezers. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to use this to pull my fuse uh, 5. It's right there. I'm going to have to move the camera just a bit to the side and find my fuse. So I clamped onto that fuse. I'm going to pull it out. And what have we here? Let's come up. I think it's blown. Let's check. My money is that it's blown. So let's get a closer look at the fuse. Here. I hope it's blown because if it's not blown, then I will have to go down to the dealership and maybe get a new key fob. It's very hard to see. Uh, wow, that is really hard to see. Now, my fuse is blown as you see there. Look at that. The metal um, thing in the middle is separated. Now, inside the fuse panel, I'm glad that's blown. I don't need a new key fob. BMW um, provides spare fuses all throughout the panel. So, Usually up here in the upper ledge, there's spare fuses there with numbers that have a 10, 20, and I think a 15 there. So those are my spare fuses there. I also have spare fuses down here. Um, and spare fuses are usually horizontally um, in the box. And I do have a 5 fuse right there. So I'm going to just check my spare here. And compare it to my blown fuse. Just a, just a comparison. Let's get a... So you see there how that metal thing in the middle is... Um, well, you know how fuses work, basically. Everyone should know. So, this fuse is good, and this fuse is bad. So, just to give you guys an example when you're troubleshooting fuses, if you're not familiar with fuses. So, I'm going to replace... I have my spare fuse here. I'm going to plug that in and see what happens. So, I use my hands, because I have small hands to push my fuses back in. If you have big hands, you might you want to use the fuse um, puller and push it. So, I replace the fuse with a good fuse you see there. So that's back in there. That was that slot right there. And I'm going to come out. Where's my key? It's in my, it's my pocket in the car. So I'm going to come outside once I replace that broken fuse. And I'm going to see what happens. So I'm going to step away. And hopefully this works. So that works. <laughs> so I locked the car. Unlock the car, lock the car, and I could also my comfort access, my convenience uh, features also work. I do not have a comfort access key, so that basically closes all my windows for me. So that's good. I'm gonna, you know, just double check everything's working. I like that. That's cool. So uh, let's go right back in the car and 
Let's see what we got. So my fuse is all back together. Uh, so basically that's it. You could troubleshoot a lot of things in a fuse panel. If you find certain accessories aren't working with the car, like in this case, the key wasn't working. I find the fuse, I found it was blown. Simple fix. Now the dealership um, will want, like I said, to replace the key fob um, for the tune of three to $400. So I don't have to do that. So I'm gonna put everything back together and that's it guys. That's um, troubleshooting the key fob. What I did was I also went out and bought extra fuses from my local advanced auto parts here. I bought a fire amp and a group of fuses to just to replenish my spare fuses in my glove box just in case um, anything happens in the future I do keep my fuses um, keep the spares handy nearby and that's it guys um, put everything back together and you're good to go there guys here's a close-up of the fuse box uh, showing you where the fuses are like I said if you check these fuses and they're still either good you can check your antenna condition here's the fuse map showing you kind of the number of the fuses and the location it's like a location map for the fuses so you could check this map out to find the fuses you're looking for there's a key code a pictogram of the fuses so it tells you what number of fuses does what in the car very helpful It's a chart. Diamond won't help you. What? Diamond won't help you. Okay, Diamond, where do these go? Huh? Diamond, where do these pink little bees go? Diamond, oh. where do those little bees go? Oh, the fuses? They go inside the fuse box, okay? Don't play with those, baby. Uh, hey. So, Amelia, gotta move. Our daddy's looking at the camera. 